you like to be on the sideline. How rare is that for a coordinator? I've not, I haven't done the math on that, like how many dudes are on the sideline and how many are in the booth. Yeah, it's funny. If you would have asked me probably 10 or 15 years ago, I would have said there's no doubt I want to be in the box. I want to see the game. You know, as you learn and you evolve as a coach, I think it's so important for me to go as I always do, from group to group on the sideline and look at them in the eye and say, this is what we need to do. Not, hey, send this guy to the player phone, send that guy to the player phone. To me, somewhere gets lost in the translation because I think body language, uh, certain points of the game, they need to hear it from me and they need to know, hey, this is a critical situation or whatever the uh, particular deal is, they, they gotta see it from me and they gotta read what I'm thinking and how I'm feeling about a certain thing more than anything. So I, I've shifted on that over the years. And, you know, we have a great guy that does, you know, the personnel upstairs. Uh, Rob Livingston does that for us. And, uh, you know, that's critical, you know, because I know now I'm thinking what the call is going to be and how it's going to go. So critical for me to be down there.